Hello, we are very close to production topics. During the previous lesson, we completed the production costing. And today we are going to learn about repair planning. 3D printers have two types of repairs. Technical service, that includes visual inspection and replacement of consumables, and technical service too, visual inspection and replacement of rollers. Repairs are done every 10 days. Let's create a repair plan for 30 days, which means three repairs for 3D printers 1 and 2. The use of the repair subsystem is optional. To turn on repair management functionality, go to Master Data and Settings, Master Data and Sections, Manufacturing, Repairs, and make sure the Repair Management checkbox is selected. To ensure the quality of repair management, you need to keep all the information about current condition of the enterprise equipment updated. Asset management includes supporting of master data of all enterprise facilities, tools, equipment, vehicles, buildings, and so on, that need maintenance and repairs. To view this list, go to Manufacturing, Repairs, Facilities. Here you can see password data and operation parameters for all company facilities. Main facility parameters are in the main tab. Let's take a look at them. Class. This is a category that describes each facility, such as furniture or vehicle. Responsible department, operation, owner of the facility and cost center department for the expenses related to repair and maintenance of the facility. Responsible department repair, department responsible for performing repairs in a particular facility. Now let's go to the Work Centers tab. Here you can see a list of work centers that have limited availability while the facility is under repair. The list contains all work centers that can't fully function during the repair. Please note that these work centers may be totally unrelated to the facility. For example, while we repair a switchboard, many work centers can stop functioning because of power outage. To record running time for a facility, go to Manufacturing, Repairs, Running Time Value Registration. Open the References for Registration tab. Here, tasks for running time registration for facilities are displayed according to parameters, setting classes of facilities, and nodes. If you want to record running time, you should use the document named Running Time Value Registration. All equipment defects and failures are recorded in the defect registration document. To create such a document, go to Manufacturing, Repairs, Defect Log. Now let's talk about repair activity planning. First, create facility classes. To do this, go to Manufacturing, Settings and Catalogs, Facility Classes, and click Create. Set name to 3D printer. Set assignment to facilities. Set subclasses to no. Create. Now go to the running time values tab. Set running time value to working hours. Set residual lifetime to unused. Set register to independently. Set frequency to 30 days. OK. Go to the Repair Cycle tab. Set now for Repair Cycle Interval. You should add two lines. In the first line, set Technical Service as Repair Kind, Days as Unit of Measure, and Town as Interval Between Repairs. In the second line, set Repair Kind to Technical Service 2, Days as Unit of Measure, and Town as Interval Between Repairs. Now we are going to create two repair kinds because we have two repair cycles. Let's name the first kind as Technical Service. Set Facility Class to 3D Printer. General Repair Kind to Technical Service. Duration to 0.1 days. Generate plans to monthly, 30 days ahead. Now add a product named Consumables 
and set pieces as unit of measure. Go to the Labor Cost tab. Add a work kind named Working with 3D Printers and set quantity to 1. Save and close. Now let's create the other repair kind. Name it as Technical Service 2. Set Facility Class to 3D Printer. General Repair Kind to Technical Service. Duration to 0.5 days. Generate plans to monthly, 30 days ahead. Add a product, name 3D Printer's Roller, one piece. Go to the Labor Cost tab. Add a work kind, named Working with 3D Printers, and set quantity to 3. Save and close. We already created work centers, 3D Printer 1 and 3D Printer 2. Now we are going to create facilities. To do this, go to Manufacturing, Repairs, Facilities and click Create. Open the main tab. Type in description as 3D Printer 1. Set class to 3D Printer. Set Repair, Responsible Department to Repair Service. Set Operation, Responsible Department to Workshop 1. Go to the Work Centers tab. Add the work center named 3D Printer 1. Set status in operation. Save and close. Do the same for 3D Printer 2. Great job! You created the repairs facilities. To automatically create a repair order according to filters and plan rules, go to Manufacturing, Repairs, Repair Activity Planning. Let's plan the repairs for 3D printers 1 and 2. To make things easier, you should set filters here. Set class to 3D printer. Now click Next, select the repair orders and click Next once more. Great! You just created 6 repair orders. As you can see after using the wizard, the repair orders are created but not posted. There is a notification at the bottom of the screen that informs us about it. But don't panic. It happened because the order doesn't contain all the information. Let's open the first order. The fields that must be filled in are underlined in red. In the main tab, this field is General Repair Kind. Choose Technical Service according to our repair kind. Then we need to specify from which warehouse the repair materials will be delivered. We should do it in the Materials and Works tab. Choose SPS Central Warehouse. Another mandatory field is the Additional Information tab. Specify our company, SPS Manufacturing. Now we can post the repair order, click Post and Close. Fill in the rest of five orders in the same way. In this lesson, we created necessary master data and repair orders. In the next lesson, we'll be fulfilling the repair according to the created order. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.